Hello children, so in this video, so all this day I have been explaining you on my diary. So today I will be explaining to you um, a concept which is called reflex action. A reflex action is a topic which is given in your uh, bio class 10. So what is reflex action? Now you know that whatever changes occur in our environment, such kind of reaction to such changes is called reaction to stimuli. Just like all of you are in your home now, since there is lockdown going on. So there is a change in the environment, we are responding according to it. So uh, the importance of responding to environment is that it is very important for our survival. If you do not respond to the environment, you are not going to survive. Suppose there is thunderstorm outside and if you are enjoying the rain outside, most likely you are likely to get struck by lightning and you will die. So it is very important that you need to respond to a stimulus because and that is the actually the function which our nervous system is doing. It is helping us to respond to the stimuli. So how we sense our uh, environment, the changes in the environment, we uh, can sense the change in the environment with the help of our five, um, um, you can say the sense organs and the five sense organs are you have your eyes. So there are sensitive cells in the eyes, in the retina, which are called photoreceptors, the rods and cones. Then you have in your nose as a sense organ and the sensory cells of the nose. These are called the olfactory receptors. Then you have a sense organ that is your tongue. In your tongue, you can have the taste of different food or different substances. Those are called gustatory receptors, the nerve cells which are there. Then you have your ears, inside the ears, the fine nerve cells in the cochlea, the inside hearing organ. The nerve cells, those are the phonoreceptors or you can say auditory receptors. And you have your skin. The skin technically is the largest organ of our body. So it uh, can sense any touch or heat. So they have thermoreceptors, they have thigmoreceptors. Receptors sensitive to touch are called thigmoreceptors. So these are the different kind of receptors. Now what are the different kind of reactions we show to the changing environment? Some reactions are there which need not be learned. They are very automatic kind of reaction. For example, suppose uh, uh, if you touch a hot object, uh, you don't have to learn that it is a hot object. No one has to teach you from before that it's a hot object. You should not touch it. The moment you touch that, you will withdraw your hand. So that is the kind of very spontaneous reaction that our body is showing. So such kind of spontaneous reactions are called reflex actions. So the reactions that we show to the stimulus, they can be reflex action and non-reflex action. Non-reflex action ka example hai ki suppose, um, a question paper mil gaya, exam hai. So after you get the question paper, you will not show a kind of spontaneous reaction. Without reading the question, you are not going to answer directly. Whatever you have learned, you are not going to put down everything. So you will read the question, you will relate with uh, the things that you have studied, you will bring that out, the particular part that is uh, required and you will write it out. So that is a much complex reaction that your system is showing. So that's not a reflex action because that's not spontaneous. However, the spontaneous reactions are those for which you don't put the complex thinking and the learning that you have uh, done before into action. So it is a, not a learned reaction. So now for our body to show reflex action, it needs to be very quick. Now why we have to show ref reflex action or why our body shows reflex action? Because reflex action protects us from potential damage. Suppose you have put your hand on a hot object. Now if you analyze what is the temperature, put your learning into application that should I withdraw my hand or not, by the time your hand will be already burned out. So for the signal to move, the impulse, you know that the electrical signal which flows through the nerves, these are called impulses. For the impulse to flow, for a reflex action, the impulse has to be very very fast. So therefore, the processing of the impulse does not occur in the brain. There are two regions where the impulse processing takes place. I'll tell you that for any kind of reflex action that we need to show below our neck region, 
दैट प्रोसेसिंग ऑकर्स इन अ स्पाइनल कॉर्ड पीछे में होता है और फॉर रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन सपोज दर इज अ ब्राइट फ्लैश ऑफ लाइट यू विल शट योर आईज राइट सो फॉर दैट रिफ्लेक्स एक्शन देर आर रिफ्लेक्स सेंटर्स इन योर ब्रेन सो प्रोसेसिंग विल ऑकर दैट ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई टच अ हॉट ऑब्जेक्ट सपोज से कहा मिले मिलते हैं सपोज दर इज अ ग्लास विच हैज हॉट वाटर एंड यू टच इट एंड इमिडिएटली यू हैव टू विदड्रॉ योर हैंड ना फॉर विदड्रॉइंग योर हैंड योर मसल्स प्रेजेंट इन योर हैंड हैज टू प्ले अ रोल इसका मतलब यहाँ से गर्मी का इंफॉर्मेशन सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम तक पहुँचना है वहाँ प्रोसेसिंग होकर वापस आना है सो वेन यू आर टचिंग इट द थिगमो रिसेप्टर्स ऑफ योर स्किन दे विल एक्ट एज द सेंसरी ऑर्गन और यहाँ से जो न्यूरोन्स निकलते हैं जो द नर्व विच विल कैरी द इंफॉर्मेशन टू द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड द सेंसरी न्यूरोन नाउ गोइंग टू द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड देर बी अ स्मॉल इंटरकनेक्टिंग न्यूरोन उसको बोला जाता है रिले न्यूरोन सो यू हैव द सेंसरी ऑर्गन द सेंसरी न्यूरोन देन इन द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड यूल हैव द रिले न्यूरोन द कनेक्टिंग न्यूरोन and in while the information will pass through that relay neuron processing will take place and after that the process information will be loaded into another neuron which will bring back the process information from the central nervous system to the muscles to withdraw your hand and that particular neuron which will bring back the information to the muscles of your hand so that you can withdraw your hand though that is called the motor neuron motor means something moving so it will cause the movement that's why it is called motor neuron and motor neuron will bring suppose the information to these muscles so that you can withdraw your hand and so these organs which will show the reaction it's called the effector organ so what are the things which are present in the entire pathway you have the sensory organ sensory neuron relay neuron from the relay neuron you have the motor neuron and the effector organ so all these things if you write using comma uh, arrow 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 that entire pathway through which this reflex impulse will flow or the impulse for the reflex action will flow that is called the reflex arc so that is the concept of reflex action and reflex arc now something i want to add here apart from what is there in your book now most of the time due to learning process there is a thing called learning process due to learning process many of our things which we learn on a daily basis uh initially they are very complex in nature we think can apply and do slowly these become reflex in nature for example when you are suppose riding a bicycle and something suddenly comes in front immediately you will apply brakes you don't think while applying brake it's a kind of reflex action but remember the first time when you learned cycling when something something used to come in front you had to look at the brake practically ki brake hai kahan pe फिर आप उसको दबाया करते थे लेकिन साइकिल चलाते चलाते ऐसा एक वक्त आ गया अभी कि कुछ भी सामने आ गया बिना ब्रेक को देखे हुए आप उसको दबा सकते हैं मतलब समथिंग व्हेन इट इज लर्न एंड प्रैक्टिस फॉर मेनी टाइम्स दैट बिकम्स अ काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन दो आर कॉल कंडीशन रिफ्लेक्स ऐसा एक बहुत फेमस एक्सपेरिमेंट किया गया था बाय अ साइंटिस्ट कॉल पैबलाव पैबलाव क्लासिकल डॉग एक्सपेरिमेंट तो कुत्ता को खाना दे दिया करते थे सो ही ऑब्जर्व दैट वेन ही यूज टू गिव फूड टू द डॉग सो द फूड यूज टू एक्ट एज अ स्टिम्यूलेंट और स्टिम्यूलस एंड द डॉग यूज टू सलाइव इट उसके टंग से सलाइवा निकला करता था सो दैट सलाइवेशन वॉज द रिएक्शन फिर उन्होंने क्या किया वॉट ही डेड आफ्टर दैट बिफोर गिविंग द फूड ही यूज टू रिंग अ बेल so after ringing the bell only he used to give the food and every day he used to repeat that process very soon after few days he found that whenever he used to ring the bell automatically even if he did not give the food the dog started salivating matlab pehle food ke wajah se because of food the dog used to salivate but later on by training 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 that bell became the stimulus so whenever he heard the bell the dog heard the bell the dog used to salivate that means what it got condition in him the ringing got condition it became a kind of reflex action so reflex can be natural reflex 
inborn we don't have to learn it sometimes reflex actions are also those which by learning learning it becomes conditioned in us so these are different types of reflex but the kind of reflex action which is given in your class 10 bio book in your uh, syllabus that is a normal natural reflex so i hope i have made it clear what is a reflex action and what is a reflex art thank you